Hello drone friends, I'm Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning, welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I have three stories for you this week and I'm going to jump right in. Several weeks ago we reported on a contest from drone manufacturing company Skydio. There were a total of $10,000 in prizes and what you're about to see is the winning first place video from Ryan Bonacci. The contest was used to promote Skydio's new keyframe mode, where you can pre-program shot angles and cinematic movements. Uh, the way it works is you're choosing the key shots you want, along with the flight path and the speed at which you want to fly. And with the push of a button, the drone recreates and, and flies that route autonomously. Uh, pretty cool to think about how Ryan, the drone pilot, set this shot up. The path of the drone, the view, uh, how close everyone is to the edge. I definitely was not uh, expecting that jump at the end. Uh, to see the other winning videos, check out the link below. Next up, AT&T has a drone that helps to restore cell service in damaged areas. Uh, it's been used after hurricanes, earthquakes, other natural disasters uh, for the last several years. The name of the drone is the Cow. Uh, so you have the AT&T Flying Cow Drones. And the Flying Cow is getting a big 5G upgrade, which makes the network support more robust and would enable people uh, to do things like send messages or download uh, an evacuation plan. Last week, AT&T conducted the first test of their new 5G cow drone in a rural uh, area of Missouri. They plan to roll out 5G on these drones in about a month. Uh, it's really great to see what carriers like AT&T are doing to ensure coverage uh, when folks need it most. Lastly, Teal Drones, a US-based drone manufacturer has announced that it will be selling a multi-drone swarm system called 4SHIP. Uh, this system uses their Golden Eagle drone, which is uh, conveniently on the Pentagon's blue UAS list and approved for government use. So it's four of those drones, all able to be flown by a single pilot. There's also a six drone configuration where you have two drones kind of on reserve, uh, where a pilot can bring in new drones with fresh batteries and the drones with drain batteries uh, drop off to land and to charge, all without breaking up the four drone uh, flight pattern. So who's buying this stuff? Well, Teal's four ship system offers continuous 360 degree surveillance of a target. So there are certainly some military and defense and uh, surveillance uh, applications that come to mind. But Teal thinks there's a bigger market for their swarming drones uh, in public safety and infrastructure inspections. Uh, what do you think? What kind of use cases are there for uh, four drone swarms? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, all right, that's all we have for this week, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, to all of you drone pilots out there, uh, blue skies and safe flying.